lily pipes four times before I got the matching lily pipe for my nano planted aquarium. In this video, I will share some precautions that you should take while purchasing lily pipes from online shops. Also, I will show my brand new lily pipe of my nano planted aquarium. It is looking very good. And also, I will share some of my other aquariums that I am keeping. So, let's continue. So, to decide which lily pipes is best for your planted aquarium, we have to make sure that the following things are taken into measure. First is the dimension of the inlet and outlet of lily pipes. Check the length and height of the lily pipes. Are they too big or too small for the aquarium? I bought a 12mm opening lily pipe for my 6 gallon planted aquarium. It was similar to my external filter inlet and outlet opening that is 12mm but after checking with the aquarium it was bit bigger for the aquarium and also the length of the inlet pipe was touching the bottom gravel. So don't decide this way since the opening size is similar to my filter hose opening I should buy it. No, you should consider the size measurement of the lily pipes as well. Since this Insta lily pipes was non-refundable, I had to keep the pipes. Maybe I will use it for any other planted aquarium I make, but their size should be 90p or more. Second thing to measure is the filter hose opening measure. My external filter inlet and outlet opening was of size 12 mm. So lily pipe with opening size of 13 mm was good for my plano planted aquarium. There was a story of wrong lily pipe order with regard to this opening measure as well. I ordered a 10 mm opening lily pipe from ADA India website, which was very costly of around 6000 rupees or $100. When the product reached my address and I checked it with the filter hose, it was very small. So I returned it and thankfully they accepted the return on the ADA India website, but they told that they will not return money but give store credit to buy any other stuff from the website. So that's why I'm telling you must take care of these precautions if you are ordering lily pipe for the first time from online shops. Now I will show you the lily pipes I got for my nano planted aquarium after ordering and checking several lily pipes. Yes, they are costly, but it makes the planted aquarium setup more neat and beautiful. So let's check it. These are the nature aquarium glass lily pipes from Jardeli brand. I got it from Amazon after doing lot of research and after buying about 4 to 5 lily pipes and then returning them. I got this one that is a perfect match for my 6 gallon nano planted aquarium. I will be fitting this to my nano planted aquarium and you can see how good it is. It is bit costly. It costs around 9300 Indian rupees or about 1036 dollars. But it is a good investment to make your nano planter aquarium more appealing and more beautiful. The hose length is about 12 mm so it is perfectly fitting to my filters hose pipe and everything is good. But to remove the pipe from the glass is a bit difficult. You need some water or some moisture to slip out that hose from the glass surface. These are the old external filter fittings and I will be replacing this with the new glass lily pipes. So let's do that. Since the hose opening is of 13 mm and also my lily pipes opening is of 13 mm, we can easily fit them together. So first I am replacing the outlet fitting. To do that gently pull up the hose and Unscrew the bolt that is held tight and remove that fittings from the hose. After that attach the glass lily pipe that is the outlet one to the hose and attach the suction cups to the pipe that is the hose and not to the glass lily pipe because it can stretch them. Then gently pull down the hose and fix the hose at the back of the aquarium using the suction cups like this. Next uh, I am doing the same with the inlet one. Just remove the fittings from the hose by unscrewing the bolt. Do not remove the water from the hose because it will become difficult for restarting the filter. Attach the inlet fitting also and everything will look like this. 
It is much more beautiful and neat and clean to look at. So that's how I fitted my lily pipes to my nano planter aquarium. Now I am turning on the filter. So there it is. You can see that everything is looking neat and clean and the water is coming out of the outlet one. And this is my nano planter aquarium after 3 weeks of using CO2 diffuser that is the professional CO2 diffuser and the plant growth is amazing. The background plants are growing like crazy. And there is the lily pipe you cannot see inside it. It become transparent and it does not show up at the front. So it is much beautiful than the other fitting that comes with the external filter. A gentle turbulence is necessary for gas exchange and it is perfectly provided by this lily pipe. So like I was saying, after using the CO2 diffuser, you can see that the carpeting plants are growing very well. Also the background plants are growing very well. I am doing weekly maintenance and everything is good. Green algae are there but it is under control after dosing some fertilizers. That is the java moss you can see there. And now about my other aquariums. This is my turtle aquarium. You may know that recently I upgraded it with a UVB lamp. And the turtle is enjoying it every day. It is helpful for it to develop stronger shell. These are my discus. They were very small. Now it has grown out. I am intending to sell them but uh, finding very difficulty due to the current situations. These are the discus in my breeding tank. I don't have enough aquarium to keep them. That's why I'm keeping it in the breeding tank along with the parents. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a like and share it with your friends and do subscribe to watch my upcoming videos if you haven't subscribed already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye and take care.